yesterday a lovely thing happened a colleague described me as a cheerleader for my university <laughs> oh wow yeah and it was a beautiful thing because you know i'm that kind of like i normally kind of bring like that kind of effervescent energy but this morning i've woken up and i'm just like i feel less like a cheerleader today than ever svenare <laughs> i like oh yeah so a bit low energy levels mm -hmm. And it, it okay. makes me think, as a facilitator, what do you do when your energy levels are not the normal kind of high energy, boom, 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 going up? It's an interesting question because I can often picture myself as for sure as a facilitator with high energy levels and like, yes, you go there, brilliant idea, let's explore this. Mm -hmm. Could be too much, couldn't it? I think, it, I mean, I wouldn't say that idea is appalling, your work is trash, um, but... <laughs> Um, <laughs> although uh, it's tempting, but um, there's something about that. They talk about toxic positivity, don't they? Yeah. yeah. You know, that, that kind of just constant positivity can be too much. Yeah. So I think the lesson to myself is maybe to be a little bit more thoughtful, to maybe be a little bit more gentle of pace. And it reminds me that for the people who I'm working with, that might actually suit them better. And maybe I should be a little bit more flexible in my kind of energy levels. And it, it might be also that not only you as a facilitator feel on the low side, but maybe some of those who participate, which makes it even worse if you're jumping around as a cheerleader. 